Hello, my name is R. Blank, and I run SYB. Inspired by the life's work of my father, Dr. Martin Blank, one of the world's leading EMF scientists, it's my company's mission to make technology safer for you to use and enjoy. Today, I'm going to talk with you about dirty electricity. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. A growing number of people are concerned about EMF radiation exposure from dirty electricity. So what is dirty electricity? Regular electricity is conducted into our homes over electrical wiring. If you were to look at it on an oscilloscope, you'd see a nice clean sine wave. The term dirty electricity refers to variations, spikes and surges in the voltage and frequency. When dirty electricity occurs, the currents flowing through our electrical wiring deviate from the standards we expect. And you can see dirty electricity very clearly with an oscilloscope. So dirty electricity is the addition of irregular variations in otherwise clean power. We all know that electrical wiring and the power grid conducts electricity from the utility company. In the same way, the same wiring can conduct other electrical signals and other forms of EMF. It is these forces that convert smooth electricity we expect into unpredictable dirty electricity. And once these forces are created, they spread throughout a building, and even to other buildings, over the electrical wiring and power grid, radiating potentially harmful EMF into our environments. There are two types of this unwanted EMF, voltage transients and RF transients. Increasingly, the devices and appliances that we use and enjoy are not designed to operate from the standardized AC electricity that we receive from the grid. For example, your phone and your laptop are designed to run off of DC power, which is why your power cords and chargers are designed to convert AC power to DC power. The same is true for solar power systems, which generate DC power, which then must be converted to AC power. This process creates dips and surges in the voltage, which can occur up to thousands of times each second and create unwanted dirty electrical voltage that flows through our wiring. There is another component to dirty electricity as well. All of our wireless devices, everything from traditional radio and television, all the way up through cell phones and Wi-Fi, work by sending radio frequency, or RF, EMF radiation through the air. These signals are inadvertently picked up by the power lines on the street, which act like antennas. These signals are then carried into the electrical wiring in our homes. This can lead to unpredictable EMF emissions from our electrical wiring and appliances. Dirty electricity can come from multiple different causes. However, there are some culprits that are known to be among the worst offenders. These include power inverters, light switch dimmers, energy efficient lights like complex fluorescence, any appliance with a motor like a kitchen blender, wireless devices like smart meters and Wi-Fi routers. These are among the sources known to be among the worst contributors of dirty electricity but you cannot know how much dirty electricity you are exposed to unless you measure. Regular EMF meters, like power density meters and gauss meters, can't actually measure dirty electricity. In order to measure dirty electricity, there are two high-quality consumer-grade meters you can consider. One is the Stetzerizer Microsurge meter, and the other is the Green Wave Dirty Electricity meter. Both cost about $125. Dr. Sam Millam is a retired physician and epidemiologist. In many ways, Dr. Millam is the father of dirty electricity. Not that he created it, but he created the term and was the first to explore it in his very important book of the same name, Dirty Electricity. In that book and in other published studies, Dr. Millam advocates that the electrification of our lives has led to an epidemic of what he refers to as the diseases of civilization. That is, diseases that did not occur in populations until these populations were exposed to EMF from the electrical grid. These diseases of civilization include Alzheimer's, infertility, depression, heart disease, and Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS. And he showed that these diseases did not increase in populations that were not exposed to the forces of electrification, in populations such as the Amish. So Dr. Millam established a clear and quantifiable link between the introduction of electricity in a region 
and how many people suffer and die from these diseases of civilization. There are a few steps you can take right now to reduce the amount of dirty electricity in your home. Remove light dimmer switches. Unplug electronics when not in use. Avoid eco-friendly lighting and manage your extension cords. For more information about dirty electricity and what you can do about it, please visit us at shieldyourbody.com slash dirty dash electricity. Thank you so much for your support of SYB. I really appreciate it.